Good morning. The Good morning. Finance Committee of the Forest Reserve District of Cook County will come to order. Madam Secretary, would you please call the roll? You have a quorum, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. Chair recognizes Vice Chairman Steele for the purpose of moving the agenda. First item is the disbursements. Is there a second? Discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Mr. Chairman. Division. Yes. Division. Mr. Prager. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would like to record a no vote on page two, item 101492. Is that it? Yes. Thank so you. So noted. P Mr. Daly. Please record me as voting present on 101491 and 101492. Any other divisions? There being none. Motion carried. Commissioner Gorman? No, on 101492. So noted. Any others? Despite the division, the motion carries. Contract awards, Vice Chairman Steele? Uh, let's move the emergency contract awards on page six. Second. 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 Discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Nay? Motion carries. Divisions? Mr. Babies? I'm sorry? Okay. So noted. Is that it? Despite the division of the question, the motion carries. Legal matters? Who's Vice Chairman of Legal? Yeah. Vice Chairman Collins, you want to move the legal? I'm sorry. Move approval of legal. Legal items? Yeah. Second by Commissioner Pareka. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Any divisions? Motion carries. Revenue report, Mr. Steele. Receive and file. Re receive and file. Second. Discussion? Question. Mr. Pareka. I would like to ask Mr. Kemp a couple of questions, if I may, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Kemp. Marlo Kemp, Chief Financial Officer. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. Uh, first, looking at the expenditure side of the ledger, I want to note that uh, this is a midpoint of our fiscal year, which is on cash basis, right? Uh, not quite the midpoint, but yes, we're pretty close. Close. And uh, we seem to be doing uh, very well across all expenditure categories. Uh, they're all below the projected amounts at this point in the fiscal year, correct? Uh, yes, most of them are. All right. And uh, in terms of the um, uh, revenues, uh, there we are also below the expected projected revenues at this point, some $4.8 trillion. Dollars. Is that correct? Yes, that is true. And uh, in terms of the uh, overall picture for the entire year based on these revenues and expenditures, uh, do you expect that we will be below the uh, level of expenditures that we projected for the total year? Um, I can't make a call. I would just looking at what we see, we may be slightly below. I don't think we will be as far below as we're as we're seeing right now. Okay, so that will be offset by some summer hiring and that type of thing, correct? Um, no, there, there was no summer hiring, but it's the the work that goes on during the summer, the, the extensive cutting and, and those types of things. I see. And uh, the property tax matter uh, being um, 845000 below uh, the revenue from the property taxes. Is that a uh, seasonal uh, aberration or is this uh, um, well, we reflecting actually, a lower receipt? Well, the, the fact of the matter is we, we, we kind of anticipated that there would be lower receipts of the taxes. And uh, as mentioned last month by Mr. Donovan, uh, we had actually, uh, the, the state had actually authorized uh, governments to collect 55% of their property taxes up front. So we would actually expect to see um, a smaller collection uh, of property taxes uh, in the back end. So uh, yes, we, we are not anticipating fully that we will see uh, the entire amount that we expect. Uh, however, we had made contingencies for that uh, in that event. Any other uh, anticipated or unanticipated events between now and the end of the year that would alter the uh, projected revenues and expenditures? Uh, we do not foresee any events that would uh, 
would alter the projected revenues. I mean, obviously, there are some things that could transpire uh, that would ultimately uh, that would ultimately uh, that may lead to uh, you know revenues being less than anticipated. But then again, that's why we are adhering to our fund balance policy so that mm -hmm. uh, we have coverage in case uh, those unanticipated events do occur. Have there been any changes in the uh, reserve uh, fund balances? Any major changes in the reserve fund balances uh, compared to what you reported on last time? Um, there have not been any uh, major changes. We do have, and I guess this will be coming up later in the uh, in the regular agenda. We do have our board meeting, uh, or, or, or we do have our annual report uh, that will show the fund balances as of the end of fiscal year uh, 2009. Uh, that I believe has been a, a copy has been provided to all of the commissioners. Okay. Do you anticipate any of the reserve balances that are on hand currently being used to reduce the outstanding debt that we have currently? Uh, well, the outstanding debt is managed by the bond and interest fund, Commissioner. Okay. Um, and so, so my question is, are we planning any transfers between funds that would reduce the outstanding debt currently held by the district or owed by the district? Uh, no, we're not planning any at okay. this time. All right. Thank you much. Thank you. Commissioner Collins, you've moved approval of the legal matters on pages 7 through 10. It actually goes through 11. So if you would move approval of the legal item on page 11, that would be helpful. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Motion carries. Chair, and entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Moved by Vice Chair Steele. Second. Second by Mr. Pareko. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Motion carries. Please adjourn.